Hello Poopchick, this your Baba here, and today I want to talk to you about Easter and chocolate. You know, um, Easter time is wonderful time to buy chocolate for your friend and family, and um, Baba just loved to do this for her granddaughter Rosie when she is little. Maybe you read about Rosie in my children's book, Rosie's Rescue, and um, the story also involves uh, how Baba learned serious skill during Stalinist purge in, in Ukraine. Um, and she find it very hard to let go of some habit, like living. Okay, so um, Baba take little Rosie by her hand. You know, she's uh, four or five years old. And she want major chocolate diets, chocolate rabbit. Um, because she already have a rabbit in house and um, you know she she's very gentle child and she play games with rabbit but of course Baba do all the cleaning oi 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 please do not get your child live rabbit for Easter they is not toy they don't sit in corner they make so much mess and so much cleanup you, you think your child going to clean litter box every day <laughs> You are from your rocker. Please get chocolate or toy, not not rabbit. Um, so anyway, Baba take a little Rosie to drugstore. And Rosie is all excited. You know, she's jumping up and down on her little haircut that I make. You know, it's just flopping. You know, I put soup bowl on her head and her hair is flopping up and down. It's good haircut. And she wants this big chocolate rabbit. But, you know, Baba is poor and, and she cannot afford so this is where my experience from uh, uh, Ukraine wartime come into play. I say, look over there, Rosie. And she look and whew, I, I swoop this chocolate rabbit under my long skirt and into my bloomers. Okay, so we leave drugstore and Rosie is crying a little bit because she didn't get uh, chocolate. And you know, Baba said, just wait, wait, you know, I, I do magic trick before you're going to get when, when we at home. Okay, it's going to be a good surprise. So, um, and then Rosie noticed that Bob is limping a little bit, and, and I say, oh, it's okay, Rosie, I, you know, I have arthritis in my knees, it's very bad today. What? Someone had to teach child honesty, you know? I mean, when you is trying to survive starvation, it's important that you learn how to swoop turkey or chicken into your bloomer, Okay. I would not even be here telling you this if I did not do this. So anyway, we get home, you know, and I go into other room and then I present Rosie with chocolate rabbit and she's so happy. And, um, you know, is a very good ending to this story because you is wondering how come, you know, store don't see me in mirror. Back then, of course, was no stupid uh, security camera and how, you know, but and, and the report to police. But, you know, this is wonderful thing about um, multicultural community and in uh, Winnipeg is wonderful for this. Um, this drugstore was owned by Jewish family who know all about what can happen to your mind when you have to su survive uh, a Stalinist purge. And um, they do not confront Baba. They just quietly send bill to my children that they, they pay at end of month. And nobody say nothing because nobody want to embarrass old Baba who is having a war flashback. You know, now they call PTSD, of course. And uh, um, so this is what happened. And, you know, Baba so glad this happened in Winnipeg because in B.C. they would probably hold her hostage to be drug mule. <laughs> Okay, so Baba also wants to tell you about a special chocolate recipe in her book, um, Baba's Kitchen, Ukrainian soul food right here. And um, you, of course, know that Baba, uh, come here. Hey, cameraman, straighten this out, make some zooming. Okay, so, um, of course, you know that Baba's book have a traditional recipe for Medunik. Christmas honey cake, best, and, and with tips so that honey don't burn in cake, okay? This is big concern for many bakers. So uh, Baba has best medunic in here. And this book and dessert chapter also have chocolate medunic. <gasps> so good. The, this marriage of honey and chocolate, you will not believe, Poopchik. And, you know, when you uh, take this dessert to your uh, potluck or have party, you know, at, at holiday, 
you I promise you will be the only person who do this. Of course, uh, you know, you and other people are, are making Pascha and Babka, which is very important sacred bread at this time, but you'll be only one with chocolate, Medionic. And um, you can get, uh, that is in, in book already, and you can get Babka's traditional, Baba's, <laughs> Babka, you know, Babka is a pet name for Baba. Some people say Babsia, some people say Babka. In uh, English, this is called uh, making diminutive of name. Okay, so you can make, uh, and Baba going to discuss Baba and Babka in another video, and making it, and, and tradition, and everything. Um, but uh, you're making pop Babka and Pascha now, and you can uh, get my good recipes on my website. So you just click sign up uh, is above on Facebook and below if you on YouTube. And uh, you just go straight to recipe and, and there's no charge for these. You just, and out one day is downloadable and printable. So you can uh, uh, glue onto cardboard and put on your, or your kitchen counter. You take with you to Stupermarket market for shopping list is really good. Okay, so uh, you make sure uh, at end of video also is um, address where you can get these recipes for for uh, sacred Pascha and Babka. Okay, Pupchik, don't you take no wooden cabbage roll.